Africa that is violence free. We want a South Africa that is not fearful. We want to be free. We are raising girl children. We want them to grow in an environment that is safe. Open, Jesus is coming. Enough is enough. Yes. Our women and children don't deserve to yes. die yes. without any respect. Yes. Enough is enough for South yes. Africa. Yay! As a young woman in South Africa today, what type of South Africa do you envision for yourself? A safe South Africa. A safe South Africa for all the women in South Africa, not only the young women in South Africa. A safe South Africa for our grandmothers, a safe South Africa for our mothers, a safe South Africa for us, a safe South Africa for our kids. I think we need to go back to the moral fiber. The moral fiber of South Africa is not good. We need to teach the men, the boys, how to treat women. Please, 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 men, we are begging you, stop what you are doing, it's not okay. Please. So how do you feel about taking part in this match today? I feel honored. I feel honored, really. Thank you.
leading by example, showing the the young kids that uh, you know, it's violence is not it's 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 wrong. So basically, leading by example and then making sure avoid any altercations with especially females. Yeah. To show that uh, I'm, I'm, I'm against, I'm against gender-based violence, so that's why I'm here today. What is your message to the perpetrators of violence out there? Uh, I, I, th I think uh, the government should come with up with severe, severe punishments because if if you're going to say uh, you'll you'll give someone two life life imprisonment life life lifetime imprisonment, it doesn't save any purpose because one, uh, there's no way. Uh, you're going to die and come back. So I think death penalty should be considered, they should consider bringing it back. I'm very scared because we don't know what might happen. We go out to work, but then after work, we don't know. On our way to work, we don't even know what might happen to us. It's so scary living in South Africa nowadays.